welcome to the final episode of Feeling Peckish Christmas, Christmas Cookie Thursday. Wow, that title really did not catch on and I see why. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have been enjoying Vlogmas. We are almost all the way through and I wanted to give you one more recipe to try out on your friends and family that is delicious and perfect for the season. We are making eggnog flavored whoopie pies and they're gonna be miniature, very cute. Let's just get started. Uh, I've got all my ingredients in front of me here. The first thing I wanna do is put the flour in my bowl as well as the pumpkin pie spice. That's my little secret because technically all those spices are in eggnog. It's got ginger, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg. They're already pre-mixed and we're just gonna enhance that flavor. You can buy pumpkin pie spice pre-put together, but if you can't find it, you can always just add in a pinch of cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, ground ginger and cloves and mix it all together. I've got a pinch of salt as always with all baking and I've got my baking soda. Perfect. Give that a little mix. Now in my stand mixer, I'm going in with one egg. Just crack that in. And my sugar. Perfect. Okay, let's get that mixed until it's light and fluffy. Great, now at this point, I'm going in with my melted butter and eggnog, and then I'm gonna slowly stir in the flour mixture until I have my batter. Okay, once you have your batter made, uh, it's important to taste it. That's just a rule of thumb. Um, if you want to stop at this point and just dip your face in this and not think about all those resolutions of 2017 that you didn't do, that's an option for you. Remember when I was gonna make better YouTube content? <laughs> what a joke. Oh. Or, if you'd like to proceed in the recipe, place the batter into a piping bag, snip the tip. I have got my oven preheating at 350 degrees and I have a baking sheet with some parchment paper here. And I'm just going to keep the tip relatively close to the parchment paper, give it an even squeeze, so it's about a loony size, or what is that for other people, Sam? People who aren't Canadian. It's bigger, it's bigger than a quarter. It's bigger than, like a silver dollar. A little bit, little bit smaller than a silver dollar, I'd say. Um, I'm gonna fill the baking sheet, and then each of these is gonna bake for 10 minutes, and I repeat until the rest of the batter is gone. All right, our whoopie pies are done and they are cooled. Now they're ultra spicy because I added all that extra spice. So I'm gonna make a traditional cream cheese icing and not gonna add any extra flavors to it. Although it just occurred to me that if you had rum extract, that actually might be really good. Or rum, or regular rum. Why do I only think of that now and I have no rum in the house? Not because I drank it. I've got cream cheese in my bowl, and to it I'm gonna add some butter and icing sugar. You know how it goes. Blend it until it's smooth and get it sandwiched between two little whoopie pie cookies. I would take you into my living room where we can enjoy these together. Just kidding. Mmm, hot tamale, that is so good. You guys, I think you're gonna love this recipe. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, press the thumbs up it, subscribe, because it helps me pay my bills. And I love you, and I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow.